everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We are here at the Safari Zone today. We are continuing our work to make the amazing new lion exhibit even better and I am so in love with these lions. They are so cool. <gasps> Look, you can see the little cub. He's all growing up down there. Do you see him? Way down there. Oh, I see him. He's kind of roaming around over in the corner and all of these lions seem to be doing quite well. They're going, where's the water, Siri? Where's the water? Well, don't you guys worry. I'm going to be bringing it soon. All right, Sunflower. Thank you, darling. Actually, I probably need your help getting down from here, don't I? <laughs> we flew over the volcanoes and just landed here, and I, I don't think I could get down here myself, Sunflower. At least not without hurting. <laughs> yes, she's like, yeah, I know, Mom. Just climb on my back. You're such a good girl, Sunflower. But yeah, we are going to work on the lion exhibit today, so I'm pretty excited. We picked up some red rocks, some ash blocks, ash stone. Those aren't going to go in the lion exhibit. Um, well, actually, we were going to use the ash stone to make a really cool little block of rocks over there for our lion. So Sunflower, if you don't mind, we'll take you over by Lily and Tate. Just right down here. There they are. Is today a slow fly day, Sunflower? That's fine. Some days she's fast, some days she's not, and now we're flying into the river. There you go, Sunflower. All right, jump off. There you go, darling. So you stay here with Lily and Tate. Lily, Tate, how are you two doing? Let me get out your food. Don't worry, I know I smell like werewolf. I ran into a couple uh, in a cave. I was going to try to rescue them and like bring them here and just be like a good citizen and stuff like that, but they decided to transform and try to eat me, so it didn't quite work out the way I was hoping it would. All right, we'll put the iron ore away, oak leaves. I'll keep the sand, put this away. I'll keep the safari nuts in case I have to temporarily catch the uh, the werewolves in question. Actually, I probably could use one of these shovels to do a little bit of digging. All right, uh, I got your dog food. Yes, I did. All right. No, you, oh, um, okay, this is a little awkward. Okay, Lily Tate, eat the chicken really quickly. Um, don't look sunflower. No, don't look sunflower in the eye while you eat the Hi, darling! Don't look her in the eye while you eat the chicken. That could be a cousin of hers. Nothing's up here. Why don't we push you over here? Enjoy some of the wonderful barley seed. It's delicious. Talk with your cousins, the ostriches, who I need to move around. Look how many there are. Oh my gosh. And they're growing up. That is so cool. So the ostriches are breeding wonderfully. Let's pop in here. We are now in the lion exhibit, so we are going to remain fully, uh, fully armored. Oh, good. She's talking with the ostriches. And I'm going to eat some apples. Yeah. I love that citrine tree. That is just the coolest thing. All right, let's get the vegetable soup out and pop over and start work. In fact, actually, before we start work over here, where are my buckets? I do have lots and lots of buckets. So I actually, let's see, don't need mole fingers, don't need, why do I have an iron sword? What? Put the diamond axe away. I have so many random things, oh my goodness. All right, get in here, iron sword. Keep the shears, put the carpenter's bed away. I have so many random things. Let's go get some water first, actually, because that's going to be, oops, got to put this chicken away. How embarrassing. Oh, I hope Sunflower didn't see that. I probably should put a pressure plate down outside of... <laughs> the lion exhibit too so if you know you exit the lion exhibit and forget to close it it's not going to be a bad bad thing all right so we're going to fill up these buckets so that we can make a nice little oasis gobble gobble to you too turkey for our lions so let's pop these water buckets away and climb back up oh my gosh it's so interesting to see how underdeveloped this area is compared to our Zudesia Zoo. But I'm excited. We're going to start doing a lot more work in various parts of the world just to kind of help things out. All right, we're going to go up Pride Rock. All right, I hear you. I hear you guys. Don't worry. I'm going to be making you like a nice little water spot to eat at pretty soon. I might use a mix of stone. Do, 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 do. Walking into the lion's den. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, that raises the hair on the back of your neck just a little bit. And we're just going to dig. Okay, that's fine, guys. You can growl at me. I don't mind. Just going to dig this out. Make like a nice little riverbed thing. Mm -hmm. Just going to ignore the growling. And dig you guys a nice oasis. Oh yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm not food. I don't look like food. See? 
I look like a leaf. So I am not food. You are not vegetarians. You do not need to eat the leafy siri. Oh, jeez. Easy there. Sometimes they don't ever attack. And sometimes, out of the blue, they decide to nom on you. But I, I am camouflaged. I am leafy siri. So hopefully, hopefully they'll leave me be. You know, it would be kind of fun. Whoops, actually, let's put a dirt block back there. It would be kind of fun to make this deep enough to put some fish in here, don't you think? And maybe we'll make this like a little river that goes goes that way and winds over to the other side. Maybe maybe pours out into that river. Ooh, now we're thinking about the landscaping. The terraforming and landscaping are some of my favorite things to do, and they really do add so 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 much to any build, any anything you do. Especially when you're trying to make naturalistic environments for the animals. It's very important. Alright, let's see. I'm going to replace a couple of these with stones. There we go. But we'll put dirt back over here. Actually, we need to put, like, a grass block. Don't worry, Siri. They're not going to eat you because you are camouflaged as a plant. Camouflaged as a plant. Actually, I didn't want that there. Wait. There. That grass will grow back, but this one wouldn't have because it doesn't have a grass block next to it. Oh, look at that little leaf. I thought it was a bird. It's just a leaf sitting on the ash block. All right, so let's see. How are we going to do this? I guess I need to make it a little bit taller. Yeah, we'll make this a bit deeper. Do, 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 terraforming. Oh, look how beautiful that is. See, you got to work with the natural landscape a little bit and work with the natural pieces in order to really make something so lovely. I don't like the artificial shape of things. I don't like when things look fake, you know what I mean? But I love it when they just have such a natural beauty to them. So I think this will be where we have the water. Oh my gosh! What are you doing? No! No, 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 no. Go feed yourself to the lions. I guess he's camouflage green too. He dropped a potato. Another vegetarian. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can't blame the lions for not eating him when he's camouflaged. He's green as well. Alright, so we'll do this. Put the water right there. I am out of ash blocks. Well, I made this a little bit bigger than I thought I would. Um, okay, they're still not chewing on me, so I'm just going to kind of mix these blocks in, actually. That might be cool. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Is that so? Well, it sounds like you've had a hard day, ma'am. Alright, put that here. Put this here. Maybe a couple more. Oops. Oh, there's leaves above my head. I was like, why can't I jump? Alright. Put these here. Let's see. We'll take out this corner. It's all about creating, like, the organic shapes. Do 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 do. Maybe too organic there. Do. There we go. Alright, how's this look now? Better, better. The lions are even climbing on it a little bit. I think we need to add a few more bits and pieces though. Maybe put that there. There we go. Not bad, not bad. We can maybe sprinkle some stuff on it. He's climbing on it, so he seems to be enjoying it. I kind of imagine it being bigger, you know? Bigger. So, I'm out of stone, though, aren't I? Hmm. Hmm. I am out of stone, but I do want it to be bigger. Dang it! Why do I have to be so indecisive? Well, let's jump on sunflower and go fly under the volcano and collect more ash stone. Because we're going to make a really awesome oasis for our lovely... Hey, you two! Oh, actually, I have a potato, not zombie jerky. I was going to give him some zombie jerky, and then I realized, oh, wait, that guy didn't drop any. All right, Sunflower, don't you worry. We're not going to land on any of the spooky parts. Oh, good job flying. All of a sudden, you remembered how to fly, huh? Oh, is that a cave? No, no, no. We probably don't want to go down a cave at night. But still, that's interesting. All right, Sunflower, I'm going to mine the stone around here. Sunflower? Oh, jeez, you scared me. I thought you flew off. I was like, no, Sunflower, don't abandon Mom on top of a volcano. No. Okay, there we go. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Sometimes it's just about kicking back and admiring how lovely the world is, like I just said. 
Oh, this is a cave. Interesting. How cool would it be to explore volcanic caves, Sunflower? Actually, possibly exceptionally dangerous due to, uh, like, the ash and everything, or the dangerous gases. There's a lot of areas where there may not be active volcanoes, but there's, like, dormant volcanoes, and the gases still escape up through the ground. And so you'll, like, go t and find animals just dead, dead, near, like, cave entrances or, like, little water springs. And it's because they died of the poisoning from the gas. Wow, we're so high up on this volcano that we can see the slime island, which is so cool. All right, darling, I'm coming. Let's go finish up this lion exhibit. I don't think we've gone that way. We should really explore that way. I don't think any of us have ever gone that direction. Maybe we'll explore that way on Saturday, Sunflower. I have a feeling we might need to go to the nether to gather more. Oh, that's just a teleportation stone. I thought that was a slime block and I was like, what? I can't wait for the guests to arrive. I love teaching people about the amazing elephants. That's fantastic, Mammoth. You are awesome. High five, dude. All right, we're going to head back in here. Stay, Lily Tate. I don't want you guys to be eaten. Is that a golem? Oh, that is a golem. Let's go get him before he wrecks our pride rock. Hey, I said don't wreck pride rock. Wait, you little brat. Where'd you go? Wait, wait. No, no. Ow. There. Ow. <laughs> Rocks to the face. Jeez. Rude. At least those will clean up. All right, we have a lot more. Oh, I'm really hungry, actually. Let's get a little bit of vegetable stew. Nothing that'll attract the attention of the lions, I don't think. And then I do want to make this bigger. So we're going to go and make it like one taller, I think. There we go. Like, well, a little bit taller. Come on. There we go. Just kind of up to the. Oh! Hi! It's a wolf! Yeah, you can stay over there, dude. No, 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 no. No, I'm good. I have already got a whole pride of lions. I am in a lion den right now. And I don't need any of your nonsense messing with me while I'm trying to satisfy these lions and not, like, get eaten by them. Oh my goodness, it's a silver skeleton. Well, we clearly need to... Oh, is that two silver skeletons? Oh, fudge. Those guys are a little bit hard to fight. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Well, let's just do our best not to get eaten tonight. Or or beat up by everyone. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Stop all this nonsense. All right. So we're going to... There. Yeah, we're going to ignore him. It's the middle of the night. Oh, look, and now there's a giant slime block just to make things. <laughs> That's what I mean. They fall so regularly. I feel like we need to make little landing pads where people can, like, guess when. Where's the next slime block going to fall? Oh, no, don't you don't, darling. I am just a leaf. I am just a leaf in the wind. Be the leaf. Don't eat me. Because I am the leaf. Oh, shush, you. Look at him growl at us. Big bad wolf. You may huff and puff and try to blow my house down, but it's not going to work, sir. Not going to work. Whoops. All right. Ay, yay, yay. Who? Where? I've been hit. I've been hit. Right in the arm. Skeleton jerk. Oh, I see you. Oh, with your enchanted bow? Uh-huh. Boom. Okay, we're good behind us. Jeez, I guess lions are like the least of my worries in this den. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead. That's good, actually. I think I don't want to make it quite as tall as I thought. Just deeper. There we go. And we'll go around the other side, kind of even stuff up. That's a rat and another lion. I like how active the lions are. They really move around a lot, which is really cool. Uh, actually, let's take this one out. It's really hard to do organic shapes sometimes when you're trying to shape these things because you don't want it to look too blocky. But sometimes... Is that a little mouse? No, it's an arrow. You may huff and puff and try to blow my house down. But it's not gonna work. Not gonna work, so you can just, you can just hush it. Grrr. Oh, he brought friends. Good, that's fine. Oh, he brought friends inside here. That's fine, I'm sure we're okay. All right, well, let's make a little overhang, like right there. Uh, 
Um, yeah, like that. That's actually pretty cool. There we go. There we go! Alright, I'm gonna remove some of these to make like a little little rock bed with our remaining ash stone. Actually, I did want to make it go two down, didn't I? So that we can put like fish and stuff in here in the future. Because that would be pretty cool. And I was thinking we should catch some of the bright green tropical birds and make a tropical bird aviary. That would be really neat. Whew, I'm glad Day's here. Good grief. I'm getting attacked by everything. Not such a bad night, though. Yeah, 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 I hear you. You can growl all you want. Nothing's gonna happen. Alright, so... Here's our little, our little water spot for our little lions. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger, I think. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Stop. <sighs> Next time I will catch him. We're gonna start trying to catch more of the mobs because I think that we're gonna start working on that stronghold we found and turning it into a monster sanctuary. So the monsters are just misunderstood, you see. We may have to kill a few to defend ourselves, life or death situations and all that gels. But I do want to try to catch most of them, like the Enderman we caught. And I hear that if we surround that Enderman with soul sand, we might get to keep him. Wouldn't that be so cool, our own little Enderman? We could give him a name and some books to read and set them all up so nice and nice little, nice little room. And you could just like peek in on him. Oh, I think that would be so cool. All right, so how are we doing? I like it. I like it so far. We're gonna make it into a river. Uh, probably veering that way in the future. But for now, we've just gotta start where we can start. So let's see, should I make it deeper? That's important to figure out now because of the pain in the butt that getting uh, water put into a little pond like this can be. So, um, I don't want the lions to drown. I don't think they ever will drown though, actually. We'll make it deeper where the river part's gonna go. You know, like the riverbed's the deepest part of it. And again, see, that's that's something that happens naturally too. So studying pictures of nature and things like that can really help you in all sorts of ways. Just understand organic shapes and things like that. And things like that and things like that. All right, we're gonna clear this out. And we're gonna get a little infinite water situation started right here. Let's put this here. I'm so glad the lions aren't attacking me. I say this like because I'm a leaf. I am I am hidden. I will not be attacked. Alright, there we go. Infinite water pool. And we're gonna start by putting the water at the bottom because we want to make this easy peasy for ourselves. Alright, more water buckets. More water buckets. There we go. There we go. Water buckets, you guys are awesome. I hope you know that. All right, meaning you guys, not the water buckets. They're pretty cool too, but I was just thinking how cool you guys are and how many amazing ideas you are always coming up with. And I know I may not always get to every idea, but trust me, I read every comment. It's just hard when we have so many daily series and I'm trying to get the Pixelmon series going in the background. It's just hard to be able to read, to ev read and reply to everything that I wish I could. Oh, you guys are so cool. Alright, add more water. We're getting there. It'd be cool to go catch some fish. We haven't gone fishing, like properly fishing, in a long time. And it would be cool to make a river, catch some fish, put them in. Oh, it's so nice to be building exhibits again. I hear you, Mr. Wolf. You are quite insistent, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with him later. Hmm. Alright. Get the water down, get the water down. I almost feel like we need to learn how to use that autofill. There's like some sort of mechanical thing that we could be doing that's like autofill for the uh, mine factory reloaded maybe? I'm pretty sure we have like some sort of pipe transport system doodad that you can set up so that it fills up an area with water automatically. And we might look into that, especially when we start building some of the bigger aquariums. I still want to do really amazing walk-in aquariums and things like that. And things like that. That seems to be my word of the day. Well, almost there, I think. There, good. Nice! I like it! We've got a good start to our little... I think we will put sand down on the, the edges. But we've got a nice start to our little oasis for our big cats. So we're going to put the water in here. 
I think I put too much water in there. Let's see. There we go. There. There. And our little waterfall. That's kind of cool. Is it? Is it where I want it to be? Oh, he is just growling at me. That little, that little guy. Such a silly one. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Happy with the water physics there. Gather up my empty buckets. Get out my sand. Uh, close that up. Oh look, we, I guess that iron shovel did have quite the use after all that we collected <laughs> from the werewolves. So it was serendipitous that we ran into those werewolves. We didn't have to break mole finger out every two seconds. And look at this. We've got a little, a little spot for a lion started. I like it. Not a lot of savanna plants. We're going to have to go get more savanna plants. That's actually close to home, believe it or not. Um, but we'll definitely get, like, let me collect a couple of you. Some sand started. Just a tiny bit of sand <laughs> to get us started. Yeah, that looks better with a lake bed. And then we can put some wetlands plants along the edges. Just some little ones. All right, so let's kind of tidy off the area by building like a decorative rock over here. Maybe replacing the ground. There we go. With decorative rock from our red rock. Mr. Wolf, you can huff and puff and you're not gonna get to eat me. So I really suggest you get a new hobby. It might be like if, if this was survival of the fittest, you would fail because you can't eat me. For one thing, I am a leaf. For another thing, you're not getting in here. If my lions can't get out, you can't get in. So deal with it and go find something else to do and growl at. All right, that pick. Thank you. There. All right, see? And now we can whip out our bromeliads and our desert grass. And ba-doink. Ba-doink. Ba-boink. 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 Boink. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that. That's looking pretty good. So that's kind of what we're going to do. I don't know if we'll put much desert grass like on here. But now that I look at it, it might make sense to have like little patches of it. Like the red rocks sort of scattered about over here. Growl. Roar. I'm lying. Rawr. There. Like this. See? Like this might make sense to have just like a few few patches of the red rocks with little bits of grass sort of sprinkled around pride rock oh that's looking so good look at this so we're getting a fantastic start in my humble opinion to our awesome lion sanctuary i'm still trying to figure out what else to put in here for them like maybe maybe like prey dummies not me <laughs> he like walked towards me way too fast. So maybe we'll build some prey dummies out of micro blocks and things like that. That could be something we could do. Hello, Mr. Lion. <sighs> All right, yeah. And then I definitely think we need to find another lush garden that we can go to to get more bromeliads and grasses. Because we're very low on those. Hmm. Hmm. Stretching our legs with sunflower might be something we need to do next just so we can see if there's any other supplies we need to be gathering anywhere all right yeah this looks really good just putting little little pieces of them down in random spots nice all right well we've got a fantastic start to our lion exhibit if you ask me you guys can definitely suggest some things because look at this look at this it's so bare and empty. We need more things to put over here. So we definitely might take Sunflower and do a little bit of scouting around the area to see if we see anything that just leaps out at us and goes, yes, this belongs here in the lion exhibit. And we'll continue just kind of adding a few details here and there, seeing and maybe we'll catch more lions. That would be cool. So as always, thank you guys so much for spending some time with me here in Zudesia Zoo. We are actually a at the safari zone of Zodestia Zoo for once too, which is so fun. And if you could leave a like to help feed the animals, it would mean so much. And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. I'm just gonna, you know. Oh yeah, and here's their little cave. I forgot to show you guys. They've got a fun little cave. So we'll have to put some cool stuff in here, like some bedding or something cool. Maybe some bones, little bone piles 
for the lions in their little cave. But we will do a little bit of exploring and see what else we can find that would fit in the lion exhibit, including potentially some more lions next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.